next is just to show you how the interface is now although this is how the program works supposing I have uh, the following there and that's what will happen so what it's telling us is x equals 3.5 or x equals this alright now let me show you my design face right here here picture box text box text box and text box label 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 and that's a button and all of these are just labels used as my output and in here I have a group box group box which you can also you can see all of the component name there so let's go into visual basic now and I'll show you how I put together these codes so if I double click on here now here are the codes do that line of code right there there are the variables I've declared the following variables I don't really need uh, that last bit of variable there so those are my variable right there and here B equals text box 1, A equals text box 2, C equals text box 3. So that means any of the values or numbers enter in here, they are all, they will be stored inside these variables. And here I have the first part of the quadratic equation, and here I have the square root of this, the answer up here, minus plus whatever b is and also divided by 2 multiplied by a the same thing was re repeated here then the difference is just the minus b minus to give us the second part of the quadratic equation and both answers are then stored now inside label 6 and label 8 and that's all there is to it if I run the program now and let's just try something else out here minus 2 maybe 7 there and make this one 3 and there that's the solution guys I suppose you all enjoy it and uh, just one more time let me show you the code that's the code right there and here is my program you all have a nice day now